first game of the new season against a club they lost to last season. And this is how Gabriel Martinelli created an assist for the opening goal of the game. So, if anyone asks you how good Gabriel Martinelli really is, you could just show them that. But if they want a comprehensive answer, then you can go ahead to show them this video because we're about to break down how good the kid really is. Before we do that though, quickly go give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. All done? Now, let's get down to the question of the day. How good is Gabriel Martinelli really? Let's start from the beginning. Martinelli started playing football at the age of 9 in Corinthians. And at the age of 14, he moved to Ituano, where you could say it really started for him. He went for trials at big European clubs like Manchester United and Barcelona, but truth be told, he wasn't ready for the big leagues yet, so he wasn't called back. He remained in Brazil and signed his first professional contract in 2017 at the age of 16. He made his debut for Ituano's senior team the following year and became the youngest player to play a game for the club in the 20th century. He slowly blended with the team, and then at the 2019 Campeonato Paulista, he shone the brightest for Ituano. He scored six goals, which helped the club get all the way to the quarterfinal. With his six goals, he was the club's top scorer in the competition that season. But that was just the beginning. That competition really announced him to the world, so the big European clubs came knocking. He settled for Arsenal, and it immediately turned out to be the right decision. He was signed in July 2019 and immediately joined the club on the preseason tour that summer. He scored in his first unofficial game for Arsenal and impressed throughout preseason, so the club knew they had a star on their hands. Now, here's the thing. When Arsenal signed 18-year-old Martinelli, the plan was for him to play with the under-21s until they thought he was ready for the first team. But he was so good during preseason that the coach, Unai Emery, was convinced that he was ready for the first team so he was immediately integrated. His competitive debut for the club came in August 2019, and his competitive start came the following month in the EFL Cup against Nottingham Forest. And guess what? In his first competitive start, he scored twice. Not once, twice. Emery was very impressed and only had nice things to say about him after that performance. He said the kid was hungry, and he didn't lie one bit because in his second competitive start for the club, Martinelli scored another brace. This was a Europa League game against Standard Liège, so it was Martinelli's European debut, but he played so well that one would have thought he had been in Europe all his life. Another important thing to note here is that the kid wasn't just scoring, he was scoring some really beautiful goals. Martinelli kept scoring, but then people argued that he had not yet gone up against a big team so his abilities hadn't yet been put to a real test. Well, thankfully, it didn't take long for that opportunity to come. In the fourth round of the EFL Cup, Arsenal were drawn against Liverpool, the Champions League defensive champions at the time. What could be a bigger test, right? Well, that day, Martinelli showed Jurgen Klopp and the rest of the world how good he really is. Just 18 years of age, Martinelli played the full 120 minutes of that game, and he scored two goals. The game ended 5-5 and went to penalties, and Martinelli also made sure to convert his spot kick. The kid really did all that was required of him that night, but the Gunners eventually lost the game. However, despite the loss, the little Brazilian left a very huge impression. He became the first player to score in his first four starts as an Arsenal player since Ian Wright. After the game, Jurgen Klopp said that Gabriel Martinelli was the talent of the century. That was definitely a very huge statement from a man who had managed many talented players both at Dortmund and at Liverpool. Now, remember that Martinelli joined Arsenal in July 2019 and debuted in August, but in October, he was already winning his first Arsenal Player of the Month award. That didn't only really show how good of a player he is, it also showed how quickly he was able to adapt to life at a new club, new league, and even a new continent altogether. Around this time, there was a change of power at Arsenal. Unai Emery was sacked, Freddie Lundberg took charge for a little bit, and then Mikel Arteta was eventually hired on a permanent basis. But under these different managers and different systems, Martinelli continued to shine. In January 2020, he scored yet another beautiful goal in yet another big game. This time it was the London derby against Chelsea. That goal made him the first teenager to score 10 plus goals in a single season since Nicolas Anelka. His goal against Chelsea was so beautiful that the fans voted it Arsenal's goal of the 2019-2020 season. 
That season, Martinelli was an important part of the Arsenal squad as they went on to win the FA Cup and later the Community Shield against Liverpool. The club saw how good he was in his debut season, so they immediately gave him a new four-year deal with an option for an extra year. They knew they had a gem on their hands, and they weren't ready to lose him just like that. Not then, not in the near future. Sadly, Martinelli was hit by an injury in June 2020, and that ruled him out of play for six months. He came back in December and picked up another injury in January 2021. So these injuries really ruined his 2020-21 season. So, just in case you look at his numbers from that season and they don't look great, remember that he was injured for almost the entirety of that campaign. He had just four goal contributions in all competitions that season. But that summer, he managed to go to Japan to represent Brazil at the Summer Olympics. And he came back with a gold medal. Then, in the 2021-22 season, our boy was back, for real. He finished that season with 12 goal contributions in 29 Premier League appearances. And then, the 2022-23 season came around. And that was when Gabriel Martinelli showed that he had fully matured as a player. He scored in the opening game of the season to become the first ever Brazilian to score in the opening match day of the season in Premier League history. That's surely saying a lot for a league where the likes of Firmino, Gabriel Jesus and Willian played before him. Martinelli was really on fire in the 2022-23 season as Arsenal mounted a title charge all season, only missing out on the trophy in the last few weeks of the season. At 21, the Brazilian winger finished as Arsenal's joint top scorer that season with 15 goals. He also provided 5 assists in the league, which meant that he finished the 2022-23 season with 20 goal contributions in 36 Premier League appearances. Really impressive numbers. He formed a really deadly attacking trio alongside Bukayo Saka and Gabriel Jesus. And then, Leandro Trossard, an older and more experienced left winger, was brought in halfway into the season to strengthen the squad, and people said he had come to take Martinelli's place. But the kid is just so good that he still maintained his place in the starting eleven despite the threat from the Belgian. Now, a new season is here, and we're still seeing evidence of how very good Gabriel Martinelli is. It was just the first game of the season, but he produced what is a potential contender for assist of the season after he set up Eddie Nketiah with a pass from a very sublime roulette against Nottingham Forest. So, how good is Gabriel Martinelli really? Let's put it like this. He's so good that, at the age of 22, he's arguably the best left winger in the Premier League. Now, considering how he has started, how many goals and assists do you predict Martinelli will finish the season with? Tell me in the comments.